Now, I'm using Distress Oxides. I know there's better inks, you know, like I could have used Versafine or something like that, and I probably would have got a really crisp result. But I don't have those inks, so I'm making work with what I what I have in my, my little collection, and I think these turned out just fine. You know, um, this particular stamp set, it's a stackable floral stamp. What brand it is, I don't know. I know I do have one that's an Ulta New, but I'm not sure what this one is. If you know what this stamp is, I bought this one um, pre-loved from somebody and I cannot remember what it was, but it didn't actually come with packaging, if that makes sense. So hence, I don't know what it actually was, but it was a stackable floral and I thought, you know what, I could probably use that. So hence, I bought it. Now I'm using, I'm doing two different colored stamps, florals, stamped florals. <laughs> it's Monday morning, give me a break. Okay, so basically I'm using, I'm doing sort of a purple floral and I'm doing two of the different flowers in purples and then I'm doing some in the yellow. Do I do yellows or do I do pinks? Hmm, I can't remember. I think I do yellows. Um, so basically what I'm trying to create here is just doing things a little bit slightly different and I'm starting from scratch. So this particular layout is for those of us that don't have all of the ephemera, we don't have all of the embellishments, we don't buy embellishment packs, we don't do all that sort of thing. I'm showing you a way that you can you can buy a floral stamp and it doesn't have to be a stackable one like this. I just pulled it out because I bought it forever ago and I haven't, I've never ever used it. So, and the main reason I've never ever, yeah, I did use yellow. I thought it was yellow. Now, the reason I've never used it, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a stamper. I really, I'm not a good stamper. So I like the messy grunge look. But when I stamp, I like a crisp look. So <laughs> I'm practicing. I'm very, very muchly in the practicing zone with this. I am not a card maker. I don't do cards. I have never been able to do cards. I like to work on a larger canvas. So basically, just throwing it out there. This is my attempt at some multi-layered stamps. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, oh, exciting news, I received my order from Crazy Craft Obsession this morning, so happy, um, so I will be working on the free classes this week, so hopefully by the end of the week you'll have your first class up and going, because I do believe everybody will have their their kits they should have all of they should all be on your doorstep by the end of this week if you're still after a kit and you want to play along you can order it through crazy craft obsession i'm not sure how many they will have left um how much stock they have left uh i that i'm not privy to that information but um yeah so if you want to join join in if you want to join in and use the collection you have at your place go for it I'll let you know for everybody overseas, I will be using the Echo Park stencil called Little Explorer. I am using the five by, oh, hang on, no, six by eight. Is it six by eight? Yes. La, 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 la. I think it's six by eight paper pad, the Coco Vanilla Studio Happy Days collection. And I will be using the Distress Oxide Mustard Seed Yellow. So they are the three items that are in the kit. So if you have those at your place and you want to join in, by all means. Now, I'm doing this and I'm just letting you know, um, I'm just letting you know that I'm. this is how I'm creating my leaves. So I've just swiped some color onto the cardstock. I've used Twisted Citron and, or Citron, however you want to pronounce it, and Mowed Lawn. And I'm just doing green on green, 
because I don't necessarily need it to be all one color. And then I simply fussy cut these leaves and flowers. I did cut them all out, but I skip over that bit because who wants to sit here and watch me fussy cut something? Boring. So then I cut out my title. Now this title is called Who Rules the Girl? Who Rules the World? Girls. You know you've got to sing it, right? <laughs> Thanks, Beyonce. Um, so that cut file, I also created an offset, uh, a 0.97 offset. And the title, if you look in Cricut Design Space, it's actually under three feelings. That's the, the brand or the person that has created the cut file. So it's not my cut file. This one is one that I grabbed from the cut file store. And be, I can't tell you how much it was. I think usually they're like $1.49, something like that. Um, but I can't tell you how much it was because I pay for the subscription. So they don't actually, it doesn't come up with the price for me. Um, but it cut beautifully. The reason it was grabbing a little bit there, user error. Now, I wanted to have this, initially I was going with white, but then I thought, you know what, this might look good if I had it on a black, so it popped a little bit more. So I pulled out my Distress Ink with black soot, and I wanted it to sort of be grungy black. Does that make sense? So instead of it being just perfect jet black, I sprayed it with a little bit of water because the Distress ink line or the distress line uh they would they're water reactive so in order to do that it allowed me to get a bit more texture on my cardstock so and the reason i wanted a little bit of black on it to pop is because look jennifer's wearing a black shirt so everybody knows my theory of having three pops of whatever the dark color is so if you're going to introduce black to a layout, have it there three times. So this is where I start playing with placement. So obviously I'm just using the out, the cutout part for my title. So I know that wants to go down that side. I know the photos are going to go there. And then I want the florals to just sort of go in a reverse L shape uh, along the bottom and up the right hand side. I know that's a little bit different, but you know what? I really make this work in the end. So these I stamped onto 240 GSM cardstock. That's important when that little bit of information is important when you see what I actually do with these florals in a minute. So basically what I'm doing, you can see what I'm doing here. And then I've pulled in my, um, these strips, if you want to know where to get these double-sided strips from, where I get them from, it's on eBay. And if you want the exact link, it's there's no, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but it's over on my Facebook group and it's pinned at the top of the page. So just swipe across those pinned ones and you can see exactly where I get them from. They are the most super duper sticky lines. Like they're, they're, the best. They really are amazing. Sorry about the glare there. I had to move a little bit and for about 10 minutes every afternoon I get this glare come across my screen. I try and move my chair in such a way that the sun doesn't hit the recording area, but that's okay. So what I'm actually doing, you can see me just sort of folding and bending these a little bit. So I'm adding some dimension. There's no, I'm not doing, this is not an exact science, right? I'm just kind of bending and folding them roughly where the stamped lines are in the floral. So you can actually see that's where it would naturally be bubbled out if it was a full flower. That's pretty much what I'm doing with just the flowers. I don't do it with the leaves or anything. I do bend them up a little bit, but um, sorry about my phone being in the in the picture there. Um, I don't. I've been really good. Come on, give me some praise here. I've been really good with my phone. I've finally, a year and a half down the track, I've finally learned to. 
to keep my my phone out of the layout out outside the layout zone but clearly this particular day i've i've left it in there i apologize so the colors that i used do you want to know the colors that i used so i used milled lavender shaded lilac and spun sugar and squeeze lemonade lucky clover mowed lawn twisted citron kitsch flamingo worn lipstick and mustard seed fossilized amber and dusty concord now they're all the colors don't stress about rushing to get a piece of paper i'll have them all listed below now they are i start off with the lightest color and i get darker as i come forward you could probably go the other way as well, but especially with the Distress Oxide range because they go over the top beautifully because of the pigment ink as well as the dye. So it really does, yeah, It I, I really like how the stacked stamp looks. Like I really like the look of it. I'm glad I gave it a crack because I'm, I'm one... I like to I like to try new things. I like to try different things. I quite often I mean years ago I was watching who was it? Um it was either Jennifer Maguire or it may have been Gina from Gina K Designs. One of those two. I know it was one of those two because they are my go-to stampy people that I look at to see perfect technique and, you know, they really have it down pat. They've been stamping for, I can only imagine, since, since they could start crafting, they've been stamping because they have it down pat perfectly. Now, I know I do have a stamping platform. It is the We Are Memory Keepers one. And guess what? I absolutely hate it. Absolutely. Without question, I will throw it out there. There is a lot of We Are products that I love. This one is not one that I love. Honestly, I'm going to completely give up even trying with it. I am considering, um, I think it was Sonia mentioned to me that the Couture Creations one is really good. So I'm going to purchase one of those to see if that helps me lift my stamping game a little bit because you know Kaz is not the best at stamping <laughs> I watch I also watch Natasha Foote if you've never seen her doesn't matter that she's a card maker if you're a scrapper trust me there is a lot of inspiration that you can get from watching alternative um people you know like cross cross art is what I, I sort of refer it to where you sort of cross over so there's card makers do certain things that you can quite easily adapt to scrapbooking and vice versa also there's like junk journaling that you can bring into um that you could bring into your scrapbooking there's a couple of people I want to I want to start sort of shouting out a little bit more the people that have influenced me over the years to sort of give me a bit of direction so Gina K Designs is one Jennifer McGuire is one um, and another one that I'd like to name drop here is and I didn't write it down oh, there's Natasha Foote she is She's a Kiwi and she is magnificent. She's also got a Facebook group called uh, Come Crafting with Natasha. I don't I don't go to the Facebook group, to be honest, because I, I'm I kind of I'll be honest with you, I I actually consume less content than I create these days. So I create a lot more content than I'm actually consuming. Therefore, that way I'm not so much influenced by someone else's creation or anything like that. Um, I, look, it's my downtime. I love having my scrappy time and, you know, make myself a coffee and sit down and just, I have sort of half an hour in the morning that 
I'll, I'll selectively choose one or two people to watch and, you know, I, and these are a couple that I go to. Um, today I'm in, I've got Jen home from school today again. She's, I'm really hoping it's not a gymnastics thing, but she's dizzy again. She's got like vertigo. Now this, I'm using my rotary trimmer here, guys. And it does take a little bit of effort to cut through all that foam and dimension. But that's how I got the very edge nice and straight. Because I know right at the beginning you're probably looking going, there's all those gaps, Karen. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's what I was doing. So I glued it down because it's, it's a little bit weighty with those flowers on there. And you can see there's my title. I absolutely love how this title came out and I do raise it up on a bit of foam because I actually come in here with some stickles, silver stickles. It's it's just called silver stickles. It's a it's a glitter and it's a stickles glue. Gl stickles, it's not a gel, it's a they don't actually call it, they just call it stickles. Okay, it's um it doesn't it doesn't say that it's a, that it's a glue, but it's basically all the sparkle that you want in a glitter but it's in a glue if you've never if you love sparkle and you've never bought any products because you don't like the glitter on everything give these a crack because they are really really handy and you can get them in a nice straight line because it's got a nice fine easy flow tip on the bottles it's the same as the other um it's the same as the the reinkers. They have all the same sort of bottle, which is fantastic. So absolutely love it. And yeah, so I love these bottles. They're so good. I was actually I was actually going to be a real scrooge the other day and clean one out and see if I could reuse it. But I didn't. Because you know, that's just me. Now, what else can I tell you about this week? This week, I will be bringing you lots and lots of content. I will also be creating some shorts in case you want to have a quick squeeze at what's coming up in the next couple of videos. I'll be doing that as well. I am... This week, I am going to have a little bit of focus on stamps and different ways you can create with a very basic stamp. So... That's just some glitter that I'm putting out there, guys. Just some glitter lines. Kind of like, yeah, who rules the world? Girls. And, yeah, so that turned out really, really nicely. And I do come in with a little bit of Nouveau Glacier Paste in winter white just to add some shimmer to my flowers. I was trying to keep them just flat color, but guess what? I couldn't handle it. I need some shimmer and shine. That's just who I am. I like shimmer and shine on my layout. So I will be, this week, I will be concentrating on a couple of different elements. Stamping being one of them. I'm going to utilize some stamps to show you that if you just purchase, make the investment with one stamp, I want to show you how you can create it and elevate your layout just using the stamp and some inks you know or some stamp stamps of watercolor or something along those lines and yeah so hopefully that is something that you guys will enjoy i will also as i said at the very beginning i'll be starting our free classes and hopefully i will have the first one up later this week which will be fantastic for everyone to get started on we i am trying i next week is when i was hopefully getting the the free classes up and going but now it's turned up today i thought it would turn up sort of midweek but now it's turned up today i should be able to get a class done by the end of the week so that is pretty exciting now i'm using my uniball signo broad pen just to run a an extra bit of interest around the very outside edge on the black border just adds a bit of extra interest bit of whimsy and yeah notice i'm keeping my hands very much out of the glitter so this is the layout guys thank you so much for watching if you've got any questions please let me know below 
I am more than happy to respond. I try and respond periodically throughout the day in between videos and all the rest of it. And yeah, so this is my layout. I absolutely love it. I hope you like it too. I did use a little bit of, um, what's it called? Glossy accents. And I just added a few little tiny dewdrops on the leaves just to sort of give it a little bit of something different. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you jump on board. Hit the like button if you have gained some value out of this video. And I will be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.